Well, the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 was a unique game itself of the race, but it's even better. Matt's Race News. I know I haven't posted a Matt's Race News in forever, but we are going to get back to that this summer. Right now, I'm going to try to do it consistently, and I have an announcement at the end of the episode that I would like to make. But without further ado, let's get into the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 recap. I just love saying the name. I wouldn't even say the name of the race unless it's named the SpongeBob SquarePants 400. All right, let's take a look at your top five, first of all. <laughs> Great. Starting off well here. And uh, first off, Jimmy Johnson getting his third win of the season at first place. Obviously, he won the race, so dominant performance. But he did get lucky at the end. He raced consistently. I wouldn't even say it was a dominant performance. My bad. And uh, Kevin Harvick in second place, close to his third win. Oh, so close. Third place was Dale Jr. with his sixth top five of the season. Good run by him. Fourth, Jeff Gordon finally getting his second top five of the season. And fifth was Joey Logano getting also, as well as Jr., getting his sixth top five of the season. So. Nice performances out of all those guys. Uh, I'm surprised to see Jeff Gordon up there. Obviously, I'm a Gordon fan, so it was nice to see him run well, and it was good to see Kevin Harvick up there. He's just been absolutely dominating. And uh, So let's get into your top three performances at Kansas, or notable performances, I would like to say. First off, we have Martin Truex Jr. led 95 laps. That was crazy by him. Pretty sure he got a ninth or 8th place finish. I forgot to check that. Kevin Harvick led 53 laps, as I said, just dominant. He's been dominant all year. That's one thing I wanted to mention. He's just been fast all year. Same with uh, Jimmy Johnson, but we're not going to include him here. We're going to go with Ryan Newman as our third top or, or notable performance because he got a top 10. Very nice top 10 for him, and uh, it's good to see him with the 31 car up there as long as he is not knocking Gordon out of the chase. This is not a biased episode or a series. It just felt like including that in there. But that is it for the news. But stick around because I do have an announcement I would like to make. I, I have a few things I want to touch on here. And I know I haven't made a Mass Race News in a while. And I apologize for that. I know you're probably like, oh, here he is apologizing that I missed a few weeks. And a lot of weeks, I should say. <laughs> but, you know, once again, I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to get into that too much because, you know, if I'm sitting here apologizing every episode, then it's not going to be good for you guys. But one announcement that is very exciting. Now, this is going to put things in a brighter mood. This is to make up for it, is I am going to be recapping the Indianapolis 500. There are going to be two episodes that will come out, that are going to come out the day of the Indy 500, or the day after the Indy 500, so Memorial Day. It will be Memorial Day. There will be two episodes, so Memorial Day special, if you want to call it that. Hey guys, uh, sorry I couldn't finish it at the normal setup. I was basically at the end, I was wrapping it up as you could see. So mark right on your calendars, the Indy 500 Memorial Day special will be coming out. And uh, so thank you guys for tuning in today, and I will see you next Monday.